Hello everybody. In this video, uh, I will be showing you guys how to make the Fox Searchlight Pictures logo. Yes, finally I got this thing done. I actually had this done quite a while ago, um, but um, I've just been so busy with school. That's why, you know, that's also why I always say this every time I've been off YouTube for a while. I've been off YouTube for quite a bit, um, again, because I've, I'm actually in summer school currently and I don't get done until July the 13th, uh, at least in this time zone. So, so yeah, that's just kind of... Yes, that's what, mm, that's what, uh, that's what's going on. So, again, I apologize uh, for not being on YouTube for a while. Um, but yeah, so here it is, Fox Searchlight Pictures. So basically, Fox Searchlight is like 20th Century Fox, except I'm pretty sure they're the same company. I'm not sure what they do exactly, though, but I know it's like a subsidiary of 20th Century Fox, or well, 20th Century Studios, rather. They decided to rename, and I still hate that they renamed it, but whatever. Anyways, um, this is going to be a bit of a long tutorial, um, so I guess we should probably go ahead and uh, get right on into this. So, the materials you're going to need for this, you're going to need birchwood slab, sprucewood planks, birchwood planks, sprucewood slab, dark oakwood planks, sprucewood stairs, birchwood stairs, block of gold, and beacon. And once you have all of that, we can officially get started. Okay, so to start off the your logo, you're going to do a row of 27 spruce, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, just like that. Next, you are going to extend the row of 27 up by 3, and yeah, so literally just do this all the way across here, just like so. Perfect. Next, you're going to extend these four rows back by 11. So that's 1, 2, 3, oops, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then you're simply just going to extend all the way until it lines up with the other side. And then, of course, just connect uh, on the sides and then literally just like fill up the, the rest of the logo here. Next, you're going to add uh, rows of three, like one block away from the front and the back of the logo just like so and then you're going to fill it in um, on the sides and then you're also going to extend it all the way to the very end um, as well as the other side as well so they just extend the whole thing to the other side next which uh, excuse me next with your birchwood slab you're going to come to this first row right here and also sorry it's about my window glare um, you're going to go to the top half with your slab so just like this so it's like halfway up from here uh, and you're literally just going to wrap this around uh, the entire uh, logo so oh, they, oh yes they fixed the slab glitch oh my gosh or the slab bug my bad not glitch they finally fixed this oh my goodness guys this is going to be a whole lot easier now okay so if you guys weren't aware there was a glitch like where i couldn't drag it across like this and it's been going and it went on for a long time but now it's finally fixed so but yeah um but yeah there we go that's how you do that all right, and next you're gonna do the exact same thing you just did uh, on the very top um, of the logo here. So just wrap around uh, this row of slab, just again all the way across or all the way around the entire, like this entire part of the logo, just like so. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and just completely fill in the top of this whole thing up with the birch wood plank or sorry the spruce wood planks next come to the very back of your logo you're going to come to each side here like this you're going to leave you're going to go in by two and then come out by one and then you're simply going to go and you're simply going to place three gold and then extend forward by two so you basically make this not like six but no three by three um area here and then in the very middle block you're going to place a beacon for one of the skylights and then you're simply going to do the same thing on the other side so on the end on the end here come in by two come out by one and then three come out by two and then the very middle put a beacon and there we go we've just made two of the skylights next uh come to the very left front of your logo so the front of your logo you're going to come to the left you're going to leave a gap of two you're going to do three blocks extend up and forward by one and then this corner here, you're gonna extend up, and then with the birchwood stairs, you're simply just gonna put it on the front and on top, just like so. Next, with your birchwood planks, you're gonna come to this lower, like this bottom stair here. 
Um, from here, um, at the logo here, you're going to extend out by three with the planks, extend down to the ground, extend right by three, and then just kind of connect to the logo, and then just raise all this up, connect back. And then the top here, you want to just extend until it reaches there, just like that. Next, from what we just made, you're going to leave a gap of three, and then you're going to dig out three and extend up by two. And then you're going to simply fill this in with... Uh, with the dark oak wood planks and then with your birch wood planks you're simply just going to make a block dig out a block here in the, in the top middle here and then just put a uh, birch plank from this dark oak thing that you made here you're going to leave a gap of four and then just literally do the exact same thing so uh this should be pretty easy at this point so if you don't know just kind of like copy what you did over here except this one is four blocks away from the previous one and just like that Next, right against this uh, this last dark oak wood plank thing that you made, you're gonna cut. You're gonna do two. No, you're gonna do. Yeah, you're gonna do four blocks like that. All right, and then you're gonna do a spruce wood stair. But then this last one, you're gonna do a dark oak wood plank, and then uh, you're gonna do spruce at the bottom here. Oh, actually, wait. This needs to be higher. Yeah, this needs to be higher. My bad. So, actually, you want to go ahead and raise everything uh, just like that. All right, and then raise this up. And then simply go ahead and put the stairs just like that. Next, with your, with your spruce wood planks, you're going to come right here. And then you're just going to come out by 19. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then you're going to extend up by, uh, by 2. Just like, oops, just like so. Next, from the last planks that you placed here, you're going to do a bottom right diagonal, and then you're going to do four, and then just raise it up until it is as high as the previous row you made. From this last row of planks you made, you're going to do a up right diagonal, and then you're literally just going to extend it, not until it is as long as the previous row, but just until it reaches here. Like, if you know what I mean. So, like, until it reaches the end of the logo here, and then, of course, just extend up the side, or just extend it up, um, just like that. Next, with your oak wood planks, you're simply just from this oak, or sorry, not oak wood, dark oak wood. Uh, you're gonna simply from this one that we placed earlier. You're simply just gonna like take it and then just like trace it around this um, this big part here. I'm not sure what it is. Honestly, the logo never makes any sense to me. I never really understand like what any of this stuff is. Um, and then, of course, you're simply just going to completely fill this up at the top um, with the dark oak wood planks. And you can actually go ahead and delete these. Um, oops. Wow, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> go ahead and delete those uh, those uh, spruce wood planks right there so that it doesn't look weird, but and it actually looks all, like, solid and everything. Um, but, yeah, this doesn't take too long. I won't cut this out. But, yeah, once you have filled that up completely, we can move on to the next step. Next, from the back of this thing you made here, uh, you're going to leave a gap of two, and then you're just going to go up by one, two, three, four, and five with your dark oak wood planks. Next, you're going to take this exact row here, and then just extend it forward by one, and then put an extend two at the top, just like that, and also extend out by one, like that. Next, extend this single dark oak wood plank forward by six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then extend down by one. Next, you're actually going to want to extend this down, back down another row, so it should have been extended down by two, but it doesn't matter. On the left side, you're going to extend this one we just extended down uh, by the left by six, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you're going to extend to the right by four, just like that. Next, going to this block right here, you're going to extend right by six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then literally just connect it to this other corner over here. And then, of course, you guys guessed it, just literally fill this entire uh, thing in. Oops. Just like so. Boom. Next, you're going to kind of come like, like almost like inside it. So like it almost looks like, so it's going to look like the dark oak is like wrapping around um, the, uh, the the spruce here. So with your spruce, basically, you're just going to make sure it's like one block, like, like, make sure that there's a one block gap going all the way around the outside like this. Like, make sure this is hanging off by one row is basically what I'm trying to say. I know it's a little confusing, kind of hard to explain, but you should be able to see what I'm talking about. Just kind of make sure it's hanging off by one row on all, like, all around on all sides. But, yeah, uh, once you've uh, done that, um, we'll move on to the next step. 
Next, from this uh, this like spru or the dark oak that connects to this part here, you're gonna do six birch, and you're actually gonna do th um, two more rows of that going up, just like that. Next, you're gonna extend uh, this row and this row forward uh, by one, just like that. Next, from those rows that you just extended forward, you're gonna take the top like row top blocks of them and then just kind of like extend them forward by two, connect down, and then connect at the bottom. All right, and then for this other row, do the exact same thing, forward by two, down to the ground, or well, down to the bottom at least, and then connect at the bottom, just like that. Next, you're gonna connect uh, these two rows together right here, and then this block right here, you actually wanna go ahead and extend up, and then on top of this, you wanna put a block of gold, and then just put gold all the way around it, and then you want to put a spotlight, not a skylight, I called those skylights, my bad, it's spotlight, right in the middle for, you know, basically a beacon right in the middle of that, and there is our third uh, spotlight. Next, with your birch wood uh, planks here, or yeah, with your birch wood planks, uh, you want to go ahead and like basically make a row of birch kind of at the bottom here, just like that, and then one block above where the birch kind of connects to this, uh, you want to go ahead and put a birch plank. But then from there, uh, so you see where it's like where the row is of this pl this plank we just extended. You want to go top and like bottom of it. So it's like so this is kind of like in between these two planks, if that makes any sense. So yeah, that's where you want to put those last two planks. And then yeah, that's basically that whole part uh, completed. Okay, we've made a slight error, um, but don't worry, it's very slight. You literally just want to like extend this forward and then just extend this forward. Very easy, very minor mistake, but also very important to not leave you know so yeah there you go next with your spruce wood planks you're going to come to this big part right here uh, you're gonna leave a gap of one and then put two planks and you're gonna extend those forward by 33 so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three all right, just like that. And then you, of course, want to do the exact same thing on the other side, just like that. All right, next, what you're going to want to do is you want to come to this very uh, end of this row that we made, and you want to do 18 spruce. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. You want to do the exact same thing on the other side, uh, just like that. Next, you actually want to go ahead and actually extend this up by another row, just like this. And next, um, this like back row here, you want to put, um, so from like right here, you're going to do three, and then on top of that, you're going to do two, just like that. Next, you're going to take your dark oak wood planks and then just make a row of dark oak wood planks until it comes uh, one row like past here, um, and then just do the exact, the exact same thing right here just like that and then next uh you want to go ahead and put a um like some uh, uh dark oak wood planks on the end here like this um on this right side here you want to extend it up until it's one block down from the bottom and then do the exact same thing so it's kind of making like a little bit of a staircase but then on this side you want to go ahead and extend this up and then until it reaches the end on top of there um wait i think and then i think yeah and then you extend the sides up like that and there we go and that's how you make that part. Next, leaving a gap of one on the side of the logo, you want to leave a gap of three coming from the logo, and then you want to do three going towards the back, and then extend out by three as well, and then a beacon, and then there's our fourth spotlight. Next, with your spruce wood planks, you're going to leave a gap of four coming off of this end, so that's one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, it might be easier if you do it from the back and like on the bottom here, one, two, three, four, and then you want to do seven spruce just like that. Next, you're going to extend uh, this row up by 12. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. But then you're also going to extend it back by, um, I think, 6, or is it 5? I think it's, uh, no, it's it's 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you literally just want to extend this all the way. Wait, hold on. Oh, you know, never mind. It is six. My bad. Yeah, it is six. Okay, sorry. I wasn't sure. Um, yeah, it's six. Okay. So yeah, extend that. So extend it back by six and up by 12. And then, yeah, it's maybe easier if you kind of connect the corners together like this. But yeah, so and then, of course, you want to fill in the sides. And of course, the top. You also want to fill in the top of this up. Um, 
uh, with the spruce. Um, and uh, yeah, I will be right back once I've done that. All right, next, what you guys are gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna take your birchwood planks, you're gonna come, so like you can see where we have the front of the logo, right? You're gonna want to come to this side and then just like one block away from the top and the right hand, like one block away from the top and the side, you wanna put a row of birch and then extend down by three, extend to the right and extend up. And then of course the middle you wanna do, um, you wanna fill it in with birch like that. So it kind of looks like a pig nose. That's kind of what that reminds me of, or like an electric socket, like when like, I don't know, like the top of like an electric socket. I don't know. That's kind of what that reminds me of. I'm not sure what that's meant to be. If it's like meant to be like a vent or something, I don't know. But that's what you would see on the side of the logo. But anyways, once you've done that, uh, you want to come to the middle, like the top. Find the very like middle of the top here. You want to extend that up by two and then just put um, birch, or no, sorry, spruce around it just like that. And I think you actually want to extend it. Oh, nope, you don't extend it at all. Okay, so that's actually how you want it. And then you simply, for the last spotlight, you want to put block of gold and then sort of just um, put uh, gold around that. And then finally, in the very middle, you want to put a beacon, and that is the very last spotlight completed. So now we have officially made the entire base of the logo. We've made all the spotlights and all the big details. So really, the hardest part is honestly complete, but now it's time for the longest part so to start off the word pictures you want to come to the like the very edge here and then come to the right and then so basically you want to put two birch and then two like birch wood slap oh wait hang on no it's the top half of the bottom birch wood just like that and then you want to have a stair at the end like this and then finally some birch wood slab at the top like that and then next you want to leave a gap of one and then you literally just put like a row of um of slab just like that. Next you want to leave a gap of one from the eye um, and then you kind of want to do like an upside down birch stair facing the eye. Uh, and then you want to do a birchwood slab and then a birchwood uh, plank and then a birchwood slab on top and then extend forward by one. Next, what you want to do is from the C here, you want to just leave a gap of one and then you want to put three uh, slabs just like that and then literally just connect the middle slab to uh, the bottom just like that. And then next, uh, what you want to have to do for you is you're going to kind of leave a gap of two and then put like a uh, just a plank just a not we're not going to use the plank to like we're only using it to make the upside down stair um yeah go ahead and just make the upside down stairs so you want to have those the two the u actually wants to be two block like four blocks wide so yeah so you want to put two birch slab in the middle you want to put um oh my gosh what do you what are these uh you want to put the you want to put planks on top and then slab just like that Okay, y'all, as it actually turns out, the U wants to be one block, like, one block, like, away. So it actually wants to be one block away from the T. I don't know how I, uh, like, connected it like that, but, yeah, basically, you literally just, like, make this. Okay, this is going to be easier if we do the stair. There we go. So, yeah, you want this, so you want the U to be, like, all the letters, you know, want to be one block away from each other. So, yeah, there you go. All right, you're gonna leave a gap of one from the U, and then you're gonna put two uh, birchwood planks, and then a slab out by two, and then you'll kind of want to put like a for diagonal from that, you want to put a plank, uh, and then you basically want to put a slab uh, like at the top half, the bottom here, and then like or yeah, the top half like the bottom plank here, and then you want to do a slab there just like so. Next, what you're gonna want to do is you want to leave a gap of one. Uh, from the R, and then you just want to put two plank, and then birchwood slab, and then you want to put a slab on the bottom, slab on top, and then a slab in the middle, just like that. All right, finally, for the letter S, you want to basically put a, you want to leave a gap of one from the E, you want to put a plank, and then you want to put an upside down stair, just like this. All right, and then you want to put, replace the plank with a slab, and then you want to put a plank on the end here, or actually, no, you want to put a birch, you want to put slab on top of this, and then I believe it is, okay, and then it's a plank. Oh, wait, no, the plank wants to be made. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Okay, yeah, so you can see how we're making this. So it's like a row of slab here. What, why is it connecting to there? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Yo, this thing is being so stupid. Okay, 
Okay, I have an idea. We want to build. Oh my gosh, why? Okay, let's just not put the. Okay, I don't know why it's doing that, but like, just like, don't even like put the. Um. Oh wait, this isn't even right, is it? Oh, it's cause. Oh yeah, it's cause that. Okay, yeah. So we were doing it right. Okay, so that's how you want to make this. I don't know why the. We're having another slab glitch apparently, but yeah, so that's basically how you make the letter S. So now what you guys are literally going to want to do is, um, this is going to be the worst part. Uh, well, actually, this isn't the worst part just yet, but you actually want to uh, extend all the letters back until it reaches the end here. So that includes all of the letters. And yeah, I'll be back once I've done that. All right, y'all, once you have finally extended the letters back, you want to go ahead and take your spruce wood planks and then literally just like like right above here, the slab will pretty much give you the gap already. Um, so literally just like right above the logo here or right above the letters here, you wanna go ahead and make sure it's aligned with the birch that's ex like extended out here as well. Uh, you wanna go ahead and, and you wanna go ahead and, oops, that's too far. You wanna make sure it's like, like lined up like this and then just kind of make it just all the way around. So basically you want it to line up with the slab. That's like how you wanna do this, all right? And then um, you're gonna have to go ahead and fill in the top of this. Don't fill in between the letters, obviously, but just fill in the top of the, like this birch or the spruce. All right, y'all, so now to start off the word uh, searchlight, you wanna just, uh, again, line, like, again, at the edge here, you wanna leave a gap of one. Um, actually, go ahead and leave a gap of two and put a plank on either side, a uh, birch plank, by the way, of course. Um, on either side of the plank, uh, you wanna put um, upside down stairs. And then, um, and then you want to go ahead, you want to go ahead and put a birchwood plank on the end. And then you want to, ex and then you want to put slab. Um, and then on top of the slab, you want to put a birch stair and then an upside down birch stair. And then on top of this, uh, you want to put slab just, uh, like that. Next, you're going to want to put a row of birchwood planks as well as slab. And then you literally just extend the slab uh, top, bottom, and middle out by one, just like that. Next, you want to put a row of three birch, up, like this, and then do an up di. Oops, wait. You want to do an up diagonal slab, not birch, not the, not the plank. And then you want to connect like another diagonal at the bottom, just like that. All right. And then in the very middle, basically lined up with the middle of the E here, you want to put a uh, slab for the A. Next, you want to put a row of birchwood planks, and then you want to do an up diagonal of the slab. All right, and then next, uh, you want to do kind of like a, uh, wait, no, hang on. You want to put a uh, birch plank in the middle, and then a birch plank at the bottom, and then as well as a birch plank right, yeah, right there. All right, so like, it's like in the middle, down, and then up, like that, and then that's how you make the R. Do not forget to put the slab on top of the R, like that. Next, you want to put a row of planks, just like that, and then a row of birch slab, or sorry, not a row of birch slab, a birch slab on top, all right, and then you want to put, uh, and then you want to extend uh, the top and bottom forward by, yeah, by one, just like that, with the slab. Next, you want to put a row of birch, and then slab on top, leave a gap of one, do the exact same thing, and then in this gap of one in the middle, you want to put a slab. Next, you want to put another row of birch slab on top and then slab at the bottom. Next, you want to put a row of birch with a slab on top. Next, you're going to leave a gap of one and then put a birch. And then you want to put upside down birch with stairs on either side. Next, you want to go ahead and put uh, birchwood planks and then a birchwood slab on top. Extend that slab forward by two. At the end here, you want to put a birchwood planks or a birchwood plank and then a slab uh, in the middle like that. Next, you want to put a row of birchwood um, planks and then slab and then of course another row of birchwood planks and then from and then a slab on top and then from that slab, you want to put three. Um, slab going right and then you want to put the middle just extend the middle down to the ground and there you go guys that is how you make the word searchlight so now uh, just as the same with the word pictures you want to go ahead and extend all those letters back until it reaches the very end here alright y'all once you have uh, extended the letters back 
you want to do the exact same thing with this like birch wood like basically I say I'd say this is like a birch wood platform birch wood I said that like three times I'm so stupid the spruce wood platform uh, you basically want to like make this whole spruce wood again like trace it along the letters exactly um, like at the very end of the letters except for this side of course you want to make it sure it's like at the end like at the spruce and then of course just fill in the top all right, once you have filled it up at the top, uh, we're now going to make the word fox to completely finish off the logo. So um, what you're going to want to do here is you're going to leave a gap of one and then put four um, birch just like that. So you want to extend it up by four. This whole row of four, you want to extend up by four. And then um, uh, you want to extend this very top row to the right by five. One, two, three, four, five. Leave a gap of one from the bottom and then do the exact same thing. And there is F. Next, what you want to want to do to make O, uh, it's going to be a lot easier if we come to the top of the F here and just kind of leave a gap of one. Uh, you want to put birchwood stair, all right, and then uh, you want to extend that birchwood stair down, oops, to the ground, except you want to delete this last block on the ground and actually put an upside down uh, stair just like that. From that upside down stair, you want to put a row of um, like birch at the top, from the top to the bottom and extend to the right by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. At the end of this six, uh, you want to put upside down stair, extend the upside down stair up with uh, the planks until of course it reaches the top here like so, and then just connect at the top like this, and then fill in the side like that. And then these four corners, you simply put stairs. So on the bottom corners, you want to put right-facing stairs. If you want it at the top corners, you put upside-down stairs. And then that is how you make O. All right, y'all, next to make X, <laughs> I guess I kind of rhymed, you want to put a right-facing stair kind of facing into the O. Two, oops, not there. Behind the stair, you want to put two plank, all right, and then uh, just, and then, like, extend the plank back by one at the top. And then you want to put birchwood stair on the top and the bottom just like that. All right, and then next uh, you want to put two, oops, you want to put one, two, I believe it's three, four, five. Yeah, I believe, yeah, it's five, five, wait, no. No, it's six. Okay, you want to put six, um, like, birch going across like that, okay? And then you want to leave a gap of two from this upside down stair. You want to put another upside down stair facing that direction. All right, then you want to put a plank at the end here, and then an upside down stair below that, facing again the other letters. Behind that, uh, basically here you want to put two planks, and then you want to put a, a birchwood stair at the end, just like that. All right, and then next uh, you basically want to put uh, like two, two, um, two planks coming out the ends on the top on the tops like this and then you basically hang on this is kind of tricky y'all I don't know why but it's like really really tricky okay yeah and then I think you extend the tops like that and then yeah and then upside down stairs at the ends like this right all right and then um, and then I think it's stairs like this and then also like this like top down like that yeah Yep, yep, there it is. All right, so yeah, that's how you make the X, and then literally, again, with the like the other letters, you want to extend these letters all the way to the very back. All right, y'all, once you have finally extended those letters back, that is the Fox Searchlight Pictures logo 100% completed, guys. This looks really good, so congratulations if you were able to complete this, no problem. Um, again, sorry for not being active on YouTube as much. I've been really busy with school. Uh, I know it's summer, at least here in America, but, um, you know, I take summer school because I'm, you know, got to catch up on, you know, got to get, you know, more points and better, and, you know, just kind of get smart, whatever. Basically, you know, I'm going to be in summer school until the 13th of July, at least here in America in this time zone, but, but yeah, so that's, like, why I'm not going to be on YouTube as much anymore, but... Still, I mean, I was, I was really glad to be able to get this tutorial done because you guys have been requesting this for a long time and a lot of you have been requesting this, so I'm finally glad I was finally able to deliver. But anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys did, please be sure to like the video and subscribe uh, for more awesome tutorials like this one. 
um, and also turn on post notifications so you don't miss when another awesome tutorial like this one comes out. Um, but anyway guys, I will see you all in the next video.